Okay, go ahead and pump again for me. Okay, everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today, we're back on our 2019 Honda Accord. And what we're gonna focus on today is the B17 service. And so B17 is tire rotation, oil change, as well as replacing the brake fluid. So in a previous video, I showed you how to do the oil change. I'll link it above for you. We've already rotated the tires. We've already completed the oil change. Today's video is gonna focus on replacing the brake fluid. Okay, so we have everything ready to go for our brake fluid flush. And so back here is where the brake fluid master cylinder is located. And we're gonna be using that to number one, empty out some of the fluid and replace it with the fresh fluid, but also to top off as we're draining each one of the different calipers. And so on top of the cap, it says that I need to use DOT3 brake fluid and I picked up a quart of that. I've also went on Amazon and spent about $20 for a vacuum bleed kit. This will pull a vacuum by actuating the handle here. And then it has a fitting on the end that will fit on each one of the brake bleed screws on each of the calipers. Now the Honda manual recommends that you start with the driver's side tire on the front, and that's what we're gonna do today. Then we'll move to the passenger side front, we'll move then to the passenger side rear, and then over to the driver's side rear to finish the fluid swap. Okay, so let's get started. So we've got our gloves on. I'm going to go ahead and clean off the cap. This car has about 12,000 miles on it, and it's about three years since I purchased it. Brake fluid is hydroscopic, so that means it absorbs water, so every three years is the recommended interval to change that out. What happens is it absorbs water as you get the brakes warm, then that water, of course, evaporates, and that creates a potential void in the hydraulic fluid itself, and it does reduce your brake pedal performance. So hence the reason why every three years they ask you to do that. So this is the uh, B17 service from Honda. What we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the cap. It takes just about a quarter of a turn. Lift it up very slowly and set it aside. Now there's a strainer that's located in the very top that we'll take out. Now one thing to remember is this is very, very corrosive. It will immediately take your paint off. So try not to get it on anything. So what we're gonna do now, is we're gonna just take our finger and we're gonna lift up the strainer. Just let that kind of drain out a bit. Ready for their paper towel. And we're gonna set it aside. Now we're gonna take our vacuum bleeder and we're gonna suck out the majority of the brake fluid in there, leaving just a little bit at the bottom and then we'll refill it with our fresh brake fluid so that way we don't introduce any air into the system. What you're going to notice is the fluid that comes out of there is a darker brown color and that is a result of all the brake cycles that have happened over the three years that, uh, that this has uh, been on the road. When we replace it, you'll notice the fluid is very much more clean. So we'll just stick that down in there. We'll vacuum it out. You can see that color coming out and then into our container. I'm gonna, of course, get a container off to the side here. We'll empty that out and continue to do that until the brake master cylinder is almost empty. Okay, now that we have our brake master cylinder almost all the way empty, we're gonna fill it up with the fresh fluid and then put the strainer back in as well as the cap. And then we're gonna to proceed to the first caliper that we're gonna bleed. Now let's move on to the first brake caliper to bleed. Okay, so here we are at the front left brake. And so let's get oriented to what we're looking at. This is the caliper. 
brake line. This is the pin that slides the caliper. And then down here is actually the bleed screw. So it has a cover on it that's made of rubber. You'll just pop that off. And you can see right there is the fitting. So we'll set that aside. And on the vacuum bleeder that I had purchased, it has this attachment. And so this attachment is going to fit onto the end of that fitting. And then what we're going to do is we've got a helper in the car. We're going to have the helper turn the car on to the start mode, but not start the engine. And we're going to have him pump the brakes until it's firm and then hold that pressure. Then we're going to take our 10 millimeter wrench. We're going to turn it just a little bit to crack the seal. And then what's going to happen is inside the car, the brake pedal is going to slowly go to the floor. Once it hits the floor, we're going to have our helper stop and hold that position. And then we're going to close the fitting. And then we're going to repeat that process a number of times until the fluid becomes clear. And we're also going to keep an eye on the level of fluid in our master cylinder to make sure that we don't run out of fluid in the master cylinder. Hold pressure on the brake for me. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to crack this bleeder screw just a little bit and then we're going to see the fluid come through. And hold the pressure on the brake, don't let it up. See the fluid coming out now? You can see it coming through there. Do you feel the brake pedal coming down? Let me know when it hits the floor. How are we coming? Is it about to hit the floor? All right, and so we're going to stop the flow by tightening it. We're still maintaining that vacuum pressure. That's what you're seeing as far as the bubbles. Okay, and then on to the next side. Place the rubber cover. That side's done. On to the next one. Okay, here we are in the car. You can see that it shows maintenance due soon B17. That of course is the oil change, tire rotation, as well as the brake fluid service that we just performed. So in order to reset that, I'm gonna go over here to my steering column and I'm going to hit the home button and it's gonna bring up the different maintenance sections, the driver attention, driver support, traffic sign, etc. I'm gonna make sure and go down to maintenance. I'll push in on the wheel, 
You can see it says oil life 15% B17. And I push in the wheel one more time to reset it and hold it in. And then I scroll up. I'll do items and then push the circular button in one final time. And the reset is now complete. You can see we're back now to oil life 100%. And we are all set. Thus concludes the maintenance service on the brake fluid. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you again soon.